government has not been responsive to the plight of the people of the Upper East region following the occurrence of the recent disaster. Now, in 2016, I'm sure most of you were here, we all found some of the challenges that NADMO from time to time encounters, which is the um, lack of funding for NADMO to stock their warehouses with relief items. So we passed an act of parliament and actually set up the disaster management fund. Government clearly has not implemented the law that was passed by John Mohammed's uh, uh, administration in 2016. And because they haven't implemented uh, this aspect of the law, NADMO continues to be challenged. That is why for nearly two weeks, no relief effort has been made to mitigate the suffering and plight of the people of the Upper East region. I just returned from the region and, and, and the situation is a, a, a worrying and very disturbing indeed. If people have lost their homes, farmlands have been submerged. And so when people invest all they have in, 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 in tilling the soil and nature, disaster deprives them of their investment, you need government's intervention. Government has failed the people of the Upper East region and I think that it is time they, 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 they took the people of the Upper East region very seriously. I heard the Vice President announce that some relief uh, items are on their way and that the value is about 50,000. 50,000 Ghana CDs is woefully inadequate for a whole region affected by the flooding that we experienced in the second week of October uh, uh, 2019. And so it is important that government wakes up from its slumber. But we're saying that for us, in order that we deal with the issue of lack of funding for NADMO to carry out its activities once and for all, we passed a law in 2016. They should implement that law without any further delay.